Welcome back. We are making some incredible progress, but we now want to make sure that when our player falls out of the level, that something happens and they don't just fall forever. So there is actually a really good way of doing this. Uh, so if we have a look in the, so over here, we're normally in the details panel here, but there is also a world settings. And within that, we've got this guy here, which is called the kill Z. And that means that when you go down a particular height, so actually when I'd said in the previous set that we would fall forever, we wouldn't. Eventually, our actor would be destroyed, our play would be destroyed when it reaches this uh, depth, if you want to call it that. So what I'm going to do is set this to just not as big of a number, because it'll take a long time to fall to that. So I'm going to do minus 500. So I've just gone into world settings, found kill Z, and set it to minus 500. And then I'm going to demonstrate what that does for you. So if we now go through the door, there we go and then I jump out I got so far down and then my player was destroyed but nothing's actually happened I'm still stuck I can't play the game anymore so I have to press escape and come out of that and I'm just going to find my room again here it is so what we need to do now is have something happen when our actor gets destroyed like reset the game and that's what we'll do so what we need to do is in our content drawer I'm going to go up to the top level, go into third person, because we need to go into the player blueprint now. So into blueprints and third person. And there's already some events here, but what we're going to do is add a new event just at the bottom. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to add one for destroyed. So event destroyed. So what this means is when the player is destroyed, what would you like to happen? And I'd like it to reload the level. So I'm going to come out of here. And I'm going to start typing open level by name. And then this is really, really important. It will open the level, but we have to type it exactly right for this to work. And the level name for me, I can see it's up here. So as I'm saving versions of this as I go through um, so that you can access them as part of the resource pack, this might change. But at the moment, it's called ship chapter three, begin version two. So I need to type that in exactly as it appears here. So it's called ship. Oh, let's get rid of that none and zoom in a little bit so you can see. So ship chapter three begin v2. Now I don't need the asterisk because that's just an asterisk telling me that I've not saved my level in a while. But that's the name of it. Ship chapter three begin v2. Now two things to remember is A, get your spelling right and B, get your capitalization right. This should be identical for it to work. So I'll just now compile and save my blueprint and let's give that a go so we're going to run through the door door opens and we're going to run into the abyss and it put me right back where i started and i can repeat that again there we go perfect so that's it that's all we needed to do in this particular step because that now sets us up for what we're going to do going forward in the next step incidentally since you asked what we're going to be doing is making it so that we can't get through the door until we pick up a key card. So it's not gonna be automatic anymore. And we're gonna add a bit more complexity and unlearn some more stuff. So I will see you in the next step where we'll get all about that key card action. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.